motherfucking deal. YouTube, this your boy, Coach Dante. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video, man. I really appreciate you guys so much uh, for supporting the channel. I really appreciate you guys for always coming into the live streams. Uh, the ones that show, uh, shot, uh, always come in my podcast and support me, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, y'all come check us out tonight on the Spotlight Sports Network, my channel, and Key in the Building channel as well. Uh, uh, we starting our first ever podcast together. Uh, it's, it's gonna be called, I forgot what it was gonna be called. It's, it's gonna be called 722 Sports something. Uh, but that's what it is. But shout out to the uh, Spotlight Sports Network, man. Shout out to everybody that support my channel. Let's get right into the video. Uh, like I say, man, I just want to make this a motivational video for some of you. But, you know, a lot of young YouTubers out there, I'm just going to, you know, give y'all from where I started uh, for how I've come to now. So, like, uh, again, those of y'all don't know my background, I got a clean background. Never kind of been in, never been in trouble in my whole entire life. Never been, you know, out in the streets. You know, I always been involved in some some type of sports, whether it's basketball and baseball. I played basketball and baseball. Uh, I was a very good basketball player. I was a shooting guard in high school because that was my main asset. What I could do, I could actually shoot uh, the ball in IRL, like I say, but. Uh, high school, you know, growing up and stuff like that. I didn't have no friends like that. I didn't uh, look for any friends. I didn't, uh, you know, talk that much. And I still don't talk that much to this day unless it's about sports, unless it's really on the game like that. But I don't talk on the game like that anymore. So, like I say again, um, I was growing up, getting my lunch money taken, being bullied in school. Uh, because I was so short and I was so small and I was always intimidated of people that was ta taller than me. Uh, but like I say, again, if you give them a, f a hard fight, they will respect you. They will respect you. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, I gave the guy a hard fight. And, you know, um, it was no wins or losses. I, I was just proud of myself. And everybody in the school just said, boy, you put up a hard, good fight. And the next day, the guy came at me. He put up a great fight. He said, "Boy, you put up a great fight. I respect you." And it really, like I say, he thought I was kind. He thought I was weak. He was just testing me because, like I say, I was small. But then again, once he saw me put up a great fight against him and stuff like that, he hey, he he started. He he said, "Hey man, I, I just respect you. Got to give respect to earn respect, man. Uh, like I say, you got to respect. You got to uh, earn some somebody respect, bro." Uh, you just can't give anybody respect because that person might not respect you, but you got to you gotta earn the respect, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, in high school, like I say again, like I say, I played ball. I played on the varsity team in 11th grade, but like I say, I always was my height was overshadowing. I, I thought I thought I, I wanted to become a basketball player when I was older, when I was younger. But like I say, I had it already planned. If I didn't become a basketball player, I was going to be a coach. And that's what I am to this day, a uh, little league football coach and, uh, and a, uh, a basketball coach, man. And I'm honored and I am blessed because why? Because I worked hard. I'm pretty much sure I had people saying, hey, uh, you're never going to make it. You're never going to uh, do this. You're too short to do this. Trust me, you never. it's never too late to change your lifestyle. It's never too late. It's never too late to uh, get into anything, man, like I say, because... Like I said, your doubters, they your they your bestest fans. Your doubters, the people that doubt you, the people that, that disrespect you, the people that hate you, they're your biggest uh they they're they're your biggest confidence and booster right there, like I say. And that's just what I am. I'm I love, I thrive up under people that, that love to talk behind my back, that love to talk about me, that love to bring my personal lifestyle into things. That's what I thrive the most. That's what motivates me the most. And like I said, not hanging around the wrong crowd, not smoking. Uh, like I say, being around, being around myself, you know, just being around. I hang myself around younger people because, like I say, again, I want to influence them, you know, to do the right things and go by the right paths and keep working, keep grinding and keep uh, putting in that great work. Like I see it on YouTube, anything about sports or anything I love to support. And that's what I do to everybody videos. Like I say, 
no matter what video it is about sports and stuff like that, I, I, I may say the same thing in your comment section, but at the same time, at least you got a 4K, for a person with 4K subscribers, you know, something like that uh, in your comment section, uh, giving you great advice, you know, encouraging some of you guys to keep going and keep grinding, man. And I love that. I love to uh, motivate a lot of people. Like I say, I love to do that. And that's just what my heart is. Because, like I say, I lost my grandma, I lost my mama, I lost my grandfather, I lost all my grandfathers. I don't have any grandfathers. I lost my mama and my grandma. And like I say, I got I got that for my grandma. Like I say, love to help people. I love to do it. Like I say, if you want if you want the same love, if you want love, you got to go give it. And that's what I go do. Don't nobody have to subscribe to me. You know, come out and subscribe to me. You do it because you want to. I don't ask for donations. You do it because you want to. Everything is a want to process. Because I, I subscribe and I support people because why? Because I want to do it. I want to do it. You know, I don't just uh, subscribe just for the number. I want to support people. I want to help people, you know, grow grow their channels the best way I can. I want to try to help people to get out there because, you know, I learned that. I learned that. Trust me, when I was on YouTube, I learned that when I was at 200 subs. I learned that from people like my, my girl, like my baby. I learned that from people like Miss uh, Natural. I learned that from people uh, like uh, China. China, uh, China. Uh, I learned that from people like like everybody. I learned I, That's who I learned it from, man. Like I, said, I learned how to subscribe to people the right way. That's who I learned it from. That's who I, uh, like I say, inspired myself around. Like I say, when I was at 200, those are the people, Cousin JL, Cousin JL as well. Like, no, but my girl, uh, Miss Natural, those are the people that pretty much in the other YouTubers that used to uh, do YouTube, those are the other, uh, that's how I learned to connect. I was always a great supporter. I was always a great supporter. I was always. But I learned how to connect with people a different way. I learned how to do it a different way. And like I say, man, to uh, give to get love, you got to go give it. You got to go give it. And like I say, no matter what, you're going to go through some adversities. You're going to have trolls. You're going to have people that don't like you. You're going to have people in your comment section trying to bully you. But like I say, you just got to keep fighting. You just got to keep growing. You just got to keep working. Hard work pays off. Hard work is dedication. I say that all the time in people comment sessions because that's what I love to do. I love to work hard. I love to grind. I love the moment. I love when people say, oh, you're not going to be this. You're not going to be that. I love when people disrespect me. I just love it because I, I take it on a chin. That's just what I do. And I come back the next day or the next night and I work my ass off. That's why I'm at four point. That's why I'm at four point uh two k right now because of the doubters that always like to talk that always like to talk down on me. I would never know who. I would never know uh who would who would do it. Who would talk about me? But then again, do I care? I don't care. So like I say, man, anything go, anything can happen, bro. You just gotta work at it. You can be anything you wanna be. You know, you you just gotta work at it. If you see something ain't working, hey, adjust. See, I started YouTube in 2018. I started straight gaming, 2K. But like I say, I decided to uh, up in my content a little bit by uh, doing. So I was saying to myself, I'm doing, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing 2K. So I say to up in my content a little bit. I said, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, live stream basketball games and commentary basketball games. Ever since then, my channel has flew up the roof. My channel has flew up the roof. And I start mixing in a couple of RL videos every now and then. I would do that, but that's not my greatest asset. My greatest asset is gaming and talking sports and collabing with other people. Uh, like I say, in that collab, that jumped my sub count all the way up. It's different things. If you see something ain't working, then you gotta adjust. Maybe some people like RL videos. Maybe some people love gaming. A lot of people love gaming. You just gotta be able. You just gotta be able to stick with it. For, for a while, you can't worry about who's not in your stream. Oh, I'm not getting no support. So what 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 makes it? What make why why I'm not why I got a stream because I'm not getting no support. Hey, I got I got four I got four point two k. I'm not getting the support that I that I oh, hope I that I should be getting. Like I say, but then again, do I care? No, I care about the people that are there in my channel. 
That's what I care about. I care about people that are supporting me that in my channel. That's what that's all I care about. I don't care about people that's not supporting that's not supporting me. So like I say, man, it's all a grind, man. It's all hard work and effort, and you just gotta strictly put your mind in it. Like I say, I know some of you guys rattle up under some of you guys, a lot of you guys are young, y'all guys rattle up because of trolls and people talk down on you, but you can't worry about that. The best thing to do with that, uh, that should be a motivation. That should be motivating you to uh, be stronger and keep working and show, and show you know, hey, hey, I'm not backing down to you. I'm, you're going to watch me grow and you're going to, what if you like it or not? And that's how, that's my approach. People, you're going to watch me grow and to, and you're going to watch me grow. Whether if you like it or not, whether if you see me, whether if you don't want to see me be successful, or rather if you do, you're still going to watch. You're still going to watch. But if you're in my chat lurking, at least you are watching me. At least you're watching what I do. So, like I say, man, uh, always surround yourselves with the right people. If you're playing any type of sports, surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself around the right guys. Like I say, you don't want to sur surround yourself with a lot of bad influence or with a lot of people, or a lot of bad influence that you don't feel like is right. I uh, see my my thing. I'm always some, hanging myself around 15, 14 year olds because, like I say, I'm trying to be like a mentor. I'm trying to be like a mentor. I don't rely on myself with too many with grown ups at all like that because, like I say, I'm more of a motivator, and I'm more like I say, I want to motivate people. To let them know, you know, and put this out there so y'all can understand, like, where I'm coming from. So y'all can take this as an opportunity. If you play any type of sports, it takes hard work. It takes practicing every day. Even when you don't want to go to practice, you got to go. Practice make perfect. Just like on the game. You, you Hey, I got I to gotta grind. I got to work. I want to work hard. If I want to become the best YouTuber, if I want to become the best pl football player, if I want to become the best baseball player, if I want to become the best basketball player, everything is a working process. One day at a time, no rush. You get better every single day. Even if you fall and you struggle, you don't think about that that day. You think about moving on to the next day. That's how, like I say, you approach things. So if you seem like if it's something not working, you have to be able to adjust to adjust to something. Hey, I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to gaming if that's not working. If it, if the highlights thing working, hey, I'm going to stay with the highlights. If my streams is working on my 2K and and like my podcast is working and collapse, hey, I'm going to stick with that because, hey, that's how I thrive. So, like I say, man, I hope y'all guys take something up out of this video, man. I love you guys. Uh, thank you guys. I'm out. Much love. Peace.